having trouble setting up Hanyu and 3D on Comfy UI? Stick around to see how I set it up on my system and I'll walk you through the steps. Now, if you just want to run this workflow and you don't want to install it on, on your system, you can head over to InstaSD, go to workflows and go ahead and launch this. We have already set this up. So it's a one click launch and you can start creating 3D assets. But to install it on your system, stick around and we're gonna walk through the installation. Here I'm using this great workflow I found on Civit AI. Uh, it is using the Hanyu and 3D wrapper, which I wanted to use because it does allow adding the textures. Uh, we know that Comfy UI has added the native support for Hanyu and 3D, but at the moment it does not allow adding texture and only creates the 3D object. I'm gonna add the link to this workflow, uh, we can, which you can get from Civit AI. So let's get started on how to set this up. First, go ahead and grab the workflow from Civit AI, import it to your Comfy UI, and you will have some missing nodes. From the manager, you wanna go ahead and install, make sure you have these nodes installed. You want to make sure you have the Comfy UI KJ node installed. You might not get notification to download this. There are a lot of get and set nodes that I've noticed the manager sometimes does not pick up as a missing node. So make sure you install this. Uh, you want to install Comfy UI Essentials and obviously the Comfy UI Honey and 3D wrapper. Now this is where most of the installation comes into play. Uh, install it through the manager, but there are some steps that are required to be done manually to complete the installation. And I'm going to walk you through those steps. The uh, README on this has a lot of good information about how to install it, um, especially if you're a Windows user. I'm not a Windows user and I'm running this on a Docker container, so I'll just walk you through the steps to do that. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the steps that are required to get the Hanyu and 3D wrapper uh, to work. Based on the README, there are two uh, manual installations that you need to do. Since we're building the rasterizer from source, there are a few system requirements that we have to keep in mind. The most important thing is that your torch has to be built with the same CUDA environment that you're running. So if you're running CUDA 12.1, you have to make sure that the torch version that you got is the same, it was built on CUDA 12.1. The other important thing is that your environment has to be set up for developer tools. Now, now I'm using a Docker, the NVIDIA Docker, uh, image container and it is important that you make sure you are pulling not the runtime for the environment that you want by the developer version of it once you have finished the build you can switch to the runtime image and just install the build that you built under the development image and that saves you about two gig on the image size okay now let's get started on building the wheel for our system I'm not gonna use the Kajai repository. I'm gonna use the official Hanyun 3D repo uh, to, to build the wheel, and then we will install it on our system. To do that, go to GitHub. I'll put the link if you don't have it. And, and then on your system, clone this. Okay, once the uh, cloning is done, let's build our custom rasterizer wheel. Navigate to the folder for the custom rasterizer. And here we're gonna run our build command. So go ahead and run this. This will create the wheel, but it will not install it. We'll install it after the wheel has been created. This will take some time. Okay, once the build is done and hopefully you receive no errors, we can go to the distribution folder under the same directory and our wheel should be there. Now to install this, you simply run the install command and that will install the custom rasterizer wheel for you. Now that's the first step. The, now the next step is to install the mesh processor. Now this one we will have to do under the custom node folder itself. So navigate to your, where your comfy UI custom nodes are and go to the KGIE wrapper and then navigate to this folder to create a differential renderer. Now we'll have to build this in place and it will be used from this folder itself. So just copy this command and that will build it in place. 
and then you should see a new .so file added here and you're done with installing these two now if you are running these on a remote server like OnePod or uh, vast AI or some other service uh, I would suggest you save your custom wheel and the mesh processor that you just generated so the next time you bring up the instance uh, you can have them or bake it into your docker image so they they are included and you don't have to do this step every time okay after this uh, I also noticed that there were two other libraries that were missing when I ran the uh, the workflow sure that pi glt flip is at least 1.16.2 install that otherwise you will get an error when you run the workflow and also i noticed that this other library uh, the pine the pi nano instant meshes was uh, missing from the requirements so also make sure that that is installed and then once all of that's done go ahead and re restart your workflow add an image and run and just like that you will have your 3d model ready to go again if you just want to run this and you don't want to go through the installation steps you can go ahead to InstaSD, go to the workflows and one click launch this if you have any questions or run into any issues let us know in the comments we'll be happy to help